Hi, welcome. I am Astrid, I am Wattle and Wool, and welcome to my YouTube knitting channel. Uh, it's been a while, welcome back, and thank you so much to everyone who has just subscribed and said hello, uh, it means a lot. I haven't been on in a couple of weeks, and I have so much to show you. about to go out to my birthday like party <laughs> be like a kid um and so I just want to say a massive heartfelt absolute thank you from the bottom of my heart for every bit of support every kind word every pattern purchase everything um I'm just so honored that this last year of my life has led to so much opportunity and so much growth and development in me and just the most amazing friends I could have ever asked for. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I can see behind me some slightly dead plants. Um, I left them outside um, and then there was a storm and they don't like that much water. So they will hopefully revive by the next one or I will replace them. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a green thumb. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so back to the knitting, which is the actual point. I have a lot to show you. So first things first, it's all down here. So I'm going to be leaning down a lot. Oh no, here we go. So it being my birthday, I have obviously told my students a lot that I knit. And now it's getting to the point that if I wear any kind of knit garment, even if it's ready to wear uh, and purchase, they're like, Miss, did you knit that? So one of my beautiful students got me this as a present and it is a like chenille, really thick, um, what gauge is it? Um, eight millimeters or US 11. So they're quite large and I just think it's really beautiful. It's soft and pink and it's, it's so the girl who gave it to me. Um, and it's so me as well. And I just love it. I feel like teaching me, okay, so I'm a Harry Potter nerd. I personally am a Ravenclaw. I love to study. I love to research. I love to know things. But I feel like teaching me is very Slytherin and <laughs> she's a lot. So I really, really, really enjoy that they can see my soft, gentle, feminine side as well. Um, in that particular class, we joke that I am the mum to a couple of students. So it is just beautiful that... <sighs> that they say that. <laughs> so this is, um, I told the student I might try and design something and call it the Ella Beanie because that's her name. So Ella, if you're watching, thank you, my darling. And yeah, how sweet is that? I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. Very, very soft, very warm colors. <laughs> so that is the first thing. I've got so much to show you. Okay. Um, what is the next thing to show? The next thing is knit crate. I have two because it's been that long. Um, I was talking to a friend that I met through Anna's um, Yarn Yarn store on knit, um, Stitchcraft or Wizardry. And I will tell you all about that opening in a minute. Um, but when I, I'm so sorry, these straps are, I don't like showing my undergarment straps. That bothers me. I'm so sorry if I'm rude. Um, so, the I, I met a friend called Elsa, um, Elsa with an I, not Elsa with an E. Sorry, my Australian accent's going to come out a bit much here. And uh, she was talking to me and she was like, I don't even know what your knit crate thing is because obviously I don't explain things. I just assume everyone else is living inside my brain and knows where I'm at. So knit crate is a yarn subscription service. You buy their yarn and they I'll let you buy a package. It's $24.99 US, I'm pretty sure. So it's about $34 Australian. Um, and you buy a packet, uh, like a subscription box, and they curate the yarn for you. So there are three different categories. You can, or colorways, you can have all natural, which is beiges and creams and browns and, you know, undyed. You can, or soft colors. You can have Energize Me, which is brights and pinks and corals and yellows and oranges. Or you can have Chill Out, which is blues and greens. Now, I don't know if you can tell, even just by my nails and my outfit or all the yarn behind me, I love all those colours. So the fourth selection that you can have is called uh, Surprise Me. And that's what I do because I 
don't like being put in a box and I don't like not having a choice. So I just want them to, if, if I'm paying for them to curate a box for me, I want it to be good, you know? So this one is the July, which has been a while. Also, Knit Crate does come late for me. I, just, I'm not, I haven't not recorded since July. Knit Crate comes really late because I'm in Australia. But this is the July one. They come with a little booklet that have inside the don't fall off. That have inside the patterns and like the um this is the knit crate, the regular knit crate, and then this is the sock crate that they do as well. There's digital patterns online as well. Um this year they are doing a like combination with uh famous designers or famous dyers or whatever, and they are getting them to kind of choose the patterns and the um, packages. So they're curating the um, yarn subscription packs, which I really like. And some of them have been really good. Some of them, I mean, you've seen what my opinions are, um, but I really like some of the designers and it's been interesting and I've been wanting to um, follow them and get more interested in them. And I think that's kind of the point. So I really like it. So these are the three. Um, this one is called Pavement and it's quite neutral so that's the all natural this one is hustle in the energize me and this one is stardust in the chill out so they come with all the patterns inside um they also come with sock patterns and they should use up how much yarn is inside the box um kind of their point and so it yeah it works really nicely it all looks good inside you get a little goodie so this one here is a Tunisian crochet hook. I do not crochet. I cannot crochet. I've tried it before. So for everyone who's like, just give it a go, I feel lopsided because I'm so used to knitting with two hands that when I just crochet with one, I feel like my hands left. I'm the same driving an automatic car like because I've grown up during driving manual that the minute I get into an auto, I'm like, what am I doing? Where's my other foot meant to be? Where's my hand? What am I, where, where, how do I get, change gear? What's going on? So I get very set in my ways. Oh my goodness, I'm getting older. Mm. Um, so this is a Tunisian crochet hook. I have a friend who I might give this to um, and we'll see if she likes it better because there's no point in me owning it. Then there is this. And so this is actually more purple than it's showing up. It is much less uh, blue in real life. I don't know if I can even... Ah, oh, the problems with the sun. I'm not going to block out the sun this time. I was going to try and show it. Oh, that. Still a bit too navy on here. Um, but you can see some of that purple kind of peeking in there through. So this is the Stardust. It is made by Uru Yarn, which is a, um, knit, like a mill for Knit Crate. So it's one of their, like, owned mills. It is 100% organic Pima cotton. It's DK weight at 242 meters or 266 yards, over 100 grams. And it's, yeah, pure cotton. So it's not going to be elastic at all, but I kind of like it. I think this would be something that I could wear. Um, I have lots of colors that I can't wear and lots that I can. So I like to have a look. Oh, there we go. That was a bit, yeah, that's the purple. So I'm keeping this one until I decide I don't like it anymore. Uh, I'm not going to wind it up though because I'm still on the fence. So that's kind of... Hmm, hmm. And then... Sorry, my bed's behind there so I'm chucking on my bed. Then the next crate is the August crate. And I love this one. So this is the August crate. Now, for the July crate, I did not like either of the patterns. I'm really not into them. They're not for me. This one here, I don't like this pattern only because I feel like if I was to buy it ready to wear, I would just buy it. Like, I would pay $12 for it. I wouldn't actually pay all the materials and time and effort to make this. Um, which I know is maybe a controversial statement, and I'm so sorry if I'm offending anyone in this. But these are the three options that you could get, and all three are delightful and beautiful. I just... Mm, they're so perfect for me. All three of those colors. And then these are the sock yarns. So I'm not a green, but I do love these two. I don't get the sock crates because um, we all know me and socks don't get along. And I feel like I get enough yarn more than I'm actually currently knitting on. So there's no point stressing and buying more. Um, but the patterns. So this is the simple shrug and that's the knit pattern. And I'm not, eh. but this one, this is crochet. 
And I think it is just glorious. It's so pretty. So I find a lot of crochet patterns. I mean, I've grown up seeing, you know, the doilies and the the really scratchy um, blankets that they donate to hospitals that they put on top of the hospital bed because you can't actually touch them, all of that. And so I've... I've kind of had a bit of a bias against crochet for a while. I'm trying to fix my bias because that's obviously wrong. Um, and there's so many beautiful patterns coming out now in crochet. I think I think the knitting boom was maybe 10 to 15 years ago and the crochet boom is happening, which is so cool. Like, it's so exciting. People are getting interested in fiber arts. But I personally, I'm – sorry, I'm talking so fast. I'm not into stuffies. I'm not into amigurumi. Um, I mean, I'd make it for someone else. I just wouldn't get it for me. Um – so I think for me, crochet is something that I will respect and admire, but not do for myself. That is, until I saw this. This makes me want to crochet. I find a lot of crochet is really, really stiff, but this, I think it holds its shape really nicely. Even if it is stiff, it would just be really nice. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. So this one is in that moon, moonshine, moon, no, that's not what it's called. That can't be what it's called. Midsummer Rose, there we go. That Midsummer Rose colorway uh, for this, and I just think it is glorious. So our Maker Life is the one who designed it, and they've clearly done a great job. Um, then it came with a little coaster that says sip one, stitch one, repeat from the uh, star or the top. I don't believe you should ever let someone knit drunk. Same as I don't think you should let someone drive drunk. It ends badly. So this is after some experience. So I think for me, this is a tea cozy cup um, thing, protector to put your tea on. Um, not so much for drinking. And these, ah, this is the yarn. Isn't it so gorgeous? I absolutely love it. So these are Vitalana which is another in-house um, mill for Knit Crate. This is in called Linen Jewel. It's their um, base. It is 50% superwash merino, 30% linen, and 20% silk in a fingering weight, 365 metres over 100 grams. So it's just beautiful. And you can see that linen, like just that little bits of linen kind of peeking out, and I really like it. Um, I... Actually, so in Knit Crate, every time you order, you get an equivalent amount of um, like credit points um, that are added to your account. And if I get, um, if I get like five hundred, I get I think it's fifty dollars off. Or if it's two hundred and fifty, it's maybe it's two thousand. I don't know. There's a certain amount, and then you get a certain amount of money off, um, which I think is really cool. I think. Maybe it's, I don't know. There's an amount. It's really cool. Um, and I had about 700 or 710 or something like that um, points. And so I was thinking to myself, well, hey, like if I've got these points, I don't know. I'm always on the fence with the knit crate. I'm always like half on, half off. Um, and I kind of figured I would give it a go and use like this bonus and pay for it. The problem that I've got though is because I'm in Australia, the shipping is just, so much so they've got this program where they do called double down so if you're a member you already get a discount um and then they do double down where they actually you can put in the word double down into the shopping cart and you get an extra percentage off the final price so it can be up to 70 percent off which i mean who doesn't love a sale me love 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 a sale and I thought that'd be really cool. And so I thought I would use my points as well as this double down, but it turns out that the codes are only one or the other. So I am not sure what to do now, um, seeing as I just had these points, um, but that's okay. I'll figure it out. And I bought with the double down code because it ended up being more than my original discount code. I bought some more of these because they're so beautiful. So I'm pretty sure I bought it in this colorway. I think either that or the um, Midsummer Rose, the deep red. And I'm really excited to um, play with these and knit with these. I have some books to show you. Um, I'll show you them in a second. And they're a vintage find. And there's some really awesome, like, vintage um, patterns in there or vintage stitch patterns, repetitions, whatever. Um, and so I feel like they're – and there's some really cool techniques. 
the techniques, that's what I'm trying to get to. So the techniques, there's some really awesome techniques and there's one in particular that I love and I don't want to reveal it yet in case it doesn't work because then it's kind of embarrassing. Um, but I really, really, really love it. And so I really want to give it a go and see if it works, but it needs to be something loose and drapey. And in Australia, we have summer coming and it's going to get hot. So it's our summers get up to over 40 degrees um, Celsius, um, which is just oh, plain hot in Fahrenheit. Um, and so I want to be able to wear some easy singlets or easy breezy tops and I've got this really cool idea but I needed more than just two so I ordered three from Knit Crate and so I'm hoping that they will come um, and that I can get this idea going but um, I might even knit it like two strands together because I've got five of them now and I just good ideas I think it'll look really cool so maybe stay tuned or it might not even work and I might just eat my words but we'll see what happens so this is um the Vinalana um, linen jewel from Knit Crate and I love it. So another thing with Knit Crate, just to make it really clear, they do a program where if you sign up using like my code, which I always put in the comments below, um, then you get, I think it's a half price, um, box now. They used to do a free one, but obviously people were using that a lot. So now you get a half price box and the person who recommended you, me, gets a free box the next round, um, which is really cool. So Every time I put it in the discount code in there, obviously please feel no obligation to do it at all. It is just something that, you know, is fun and whatever. I find it interesting. Um, but yeah, if you did want to do it, um, go wild. I think it's really, really fun. The other two things, just while I'm on like a recommendations kick, um, just for fun, these earrings here, these are by my friend Sterly Pop. So she is a local to me. Um, jewelry designer she's also a teacher as well and she's got the cutest child I think he's four maybe five I haven't seen her in a couple of months um but she is absolutely beautiful and she uh does these incredible earrings so I'll link her down below as well I don't have a discount code or affiliate code or anything like that with her um but she's she, I just thought she was worth mentioning because I'm loving how they glisten and glint and they're so pretty got some other ones from her and she just does like she updates all the time so she's always got a really wide range um she's found an Etsy as well on top of that um what was I just gonna say oh two seconds so this is something I don't often talk about um but beauty products so I love beauty I love playing with makeup I'm not always the greatest but I do really enjoy it and I found this particular Australian um, brand of natural products and I fell in love with it and really wanted to give it a go. So the, the brand is called Raw, R-O-H-R, and they do a natural skincare um, couple of different things. So this one here is a deodorant and I've been using it for a couple of weeks now, maybe, no, maybe maybe three months, two or three months. I'm really getting into natural kind of skincare stuff. Um, I just don't want to keep putting all this extra hormones and extra crap in my body. So um, I, yeah, I, I got a discount code for this one and it was like, it ended up being free. So I tried it and oh, I love it. It smells so good. Like I would actually, I would actually smell this and a lot of deodorants, I don't like that at all. So this one here, um, it is, yeah, it's just a natural deodorant. So it's not an antiperspirant. So if you're sweaty, like me, you're still going to sweat. Uh, but at least you smell good while doing it. Um, so that's the first one. And then the second one is a boab and rose hit with vitamin E oil. So I use this every night for my face. I just put like a drop here, here and here, and then I rub it in. And it is so beautiful. It is so smooth. My face wakes up really refreshed. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm turning 27 yesterday and now I'm <clears throat> the age my mother was when she had me. So I'm getting into that like 20s, early 30s bracket. You know, you have to sign it and it's like, you know, are you 25 to 35 or whatever? Um, and <laughs> now I figure I better start taking care of my skin properly now rather than later um, when it's too late. So 
Um, aside from all the Lush skincare and hand care that I use, because I love Lush. Again, I'll post that one down below, but everyone should just know Lush. Um, but the raw one, ROHR, I have a discount code for, I think it's 20% off. So it doesn't give me anything. It's just for you guys. Um, but I'll put that down below as well, because I just think it's so good. And I wouldn't be recommending things if I didn't genuinely like them. And you know me by now, my honest reviews are honest. So if I don't like it, I will tell you. And I love those. Okay. So I mentioned Anna and her, um, I haven't mentioned Anna. Okay. So my friend Anna, she had her store opening for Yarnia and Anna is under Stitchcraft and Wizardry on Instagram and she is becoming such a dear friend to me and she's absolutely gorgeous. I have something amazing to show you afterwards as well. And she's just so special and so incredible. I love her. And she, she said on her YouTube channel, which of course I'll comment down below um she mentioned on her youtube channel that she was having a new storefront and she was going to call it yarnia and straight away like as soon as she said the name it came into my head and i was like i need to make something for her so i'll post up the picture um i don't know where I'll, i can't figure out these things maybe it'll just cover my face but um the idea i had was a picture of lucy and mr tumnus talking meeting at the light pole or the lamppost and next to them are trees behind. So that was my inspiration. And I decided I would create something and then tell her about it. And if she hated it, it would just be for me. And I wouldn't tell anyone that it was for her. Um, and if she loved it, then it's hers. So this is going to be the Yarnia cow. So you've got the leaves coming up here. You've got the beautiful cables crisscrossing, which is reminiscent of the forests um, and the like the nature of Yarnia, which is always the most beautiful part. You've got this incredible um, slip stitch detail, which is the lamppost, and then you've got the bubbles here. And the bubbles either represent Lucy and Mr. Tumnus, or they could be the doors to Yarnia, where you open the doors to Yarnia. So this is going to be a cowl. It's going to be in three pieces, one, two, and three. And it's going to be really cozy and knit up. And Anna actually dyed wool specially for it. So I sent her the most confusing, um, uncomfortable WhatsApp message where I pretty much was like, oh, if you like it, but if you don't, it's okay. And I just freaked out. And she was like, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So she dyed up some wool for me and it is just beautiful. I then, okay, so she dyed it and then I skeined, I balled it up, but my ball winder had a hissy fit or I had a hissy fit, either one. And then it has now since destroy, decided to destroy itself and I don't actually know what's going on, but there we go. This is the color of it. So aside from the fact that I've just wound it up horribly, you, there's, um, it's like a tonal light gray. So there's hints of ice in it. There's hints of light gray and darker gray. It is gorgeous. So I'm so looking forward to casting this on. I keep saying I'm going to, and then just life is getting in the way. Um, it is officially school holidays, so I will have time to relax and to knit. Uh, it's taken me a while to get to this point, and I really, really, really reached a low point this term, um, but I've managed to come out of it, and hopefully I'm stepping forward into where I'm meant to be, and the person, the happy person is back, the one who goes out all the time and actually is fun and knits and is energetic and creative. So I'm back and I'm feeling like myself again, but it's taken me a while to be able to get onto this. And then on top of getting my bug, my creative bug back, buzz, bug, insect, I don't know. On top of getting all of that back, I've been asked by someone who I love and I can't wait to share this with you properly to design something for them. And so it's a secret right now and I've got to get a little wriggle on because I've got a month to do it. But oh my God, it's my first commission. <laughs> so again, like someone believes in me this much that they're going to do it and ask me to do it. And mm, so honored. So I'm frantically working on that as fast as I can. And to do with that, I'm jumping around here, but to do with the commission one, I went to the op shop, um, opportunity shops, secondhand stores, whatever, and I was looking for a stitch dictionary for the secret secret project. 
because I couldn't find mine. And then as soon as I tried to record a video and tell you that I couldn't find it, I found it and then the video didn't work, but that's okay. It's working now. So I had, I went to a store and I was looking around at the knitting, the knitting like yarn section, couldn't find anything. And then I found these books and they, on the bottom of it, um, so it says stitch by stitch and on the bottom it's knitting, um, knitting, sewing, crochet. And I couldn't see the knitting bit because it was the furthest in. And so I was like, oh, these look interesting. Even if it's not knitting, it still looks interesting. I pulled it out, I saw the knitting and I was like, ooh. So I opened it up and inside are some old vintage uh, 1978 magazines with these really cool like techniques and ideas and patterns in them and it's sewing and it's crochet and it's knitting and they're so cute. They are definitely 1970s or early 1980s. So the fashion is really cute and also really not what we would ever wear. Um, some of the sewing, like, look at this, look at how cute that is. Some of the sewing ones are very adorable and very much things I remember my mum wearing as like a house dress around the house when I was like maybe a kid, like four, five. So, you know, I was in 90, I was born in 93. So these are things that my mum would have had since the eighties that she kind of, you know, wore out and just wore around the house. And so I'm looking through some of this fashion. I'm like, ah, oh, that was the kind of silhouette that I remember. So it's been really interesting. But what's the cool thing about here is they've got these really pretty patterns um, and stitches that I am so in love with and techniques. So like I said about the um, the linen um, yarn, I have some really cool ideas. And so because um, these are so new and so exciting, I really want to play around with them. And there's more to the story, but I can't because it's secret, secret design. So I, will, I can't wait to tell you when it all comes out. Okay, back to Anna. So I went to her store in Yarnia, which is in Mug and Brush down in Baldivis at Rockingham area. So I'm in Northbridge, which is centre center of Perth. And then Rockingham is maybe 40, 45 minutes south of me. Um, but it's beautiful and I really like going there. It's also quite, there's a lot of stigma around it and a lot of jokes around it being like, oh, Rockingham Bogans, um, which is kind of true. But uh, my friends are not Bogans, which is kind of the point. So you're going to break the stereotype somehow. Anyway, I went there and I bought a few things and I figured I would show you. It's just wrapping. So first up, so I bought this awesome Schreppier's uh, knitting gauge, which I love. And so you put your needles in it and it tells you what size your needles are. Because I've got some old ones that are either nitpicks or even the Leica um, yarns. I don't like the Leica ones. They're so expensive and I don't like them. I don't think I like the soft but um, driftwood of them. They tend to scratch or get um, like, yeah, scratched really easily. And then the, all the, the words, the letters are coming off of the numbers. And I don't like that. Then I got this. <laughs> I love France. I love everything French. I love cats. So I figured this would be absolutely perfect. And it's like a little notions tin. Got nothing inside it yet, but I will because it's just so cute. Then you should have already seen this on Instagram if you follow me. Um, oh, by the way, if you follow me at Instagram, say hi. And if you don't, I'm at wattle and dot wool, and I'll of course tag all of that below. Um, yeah, I never say that. So these are the four that I saw, and I love them. So I want to do no. I want to do something that is like this. So starting from the yellow at the top and moving its way down to the pink, I'm thinking this would be a perfect pullover, like a um, sweater. It is all in fingering, which I'm a bit tired of knitting fingering at the moment. I've just knit a lot of it lately um, and I'm knitting a lot of it at the moment. But this is such a beautiful set. It's not even a fade, it's just a set and it's just gorgeous. So I'm, I'm thinking I want to do, I've got some ideas for techniques like how I want to do it, like some colour work in it, um, merging the yellow with the green, then the green to the blue, blue to the pink. And I was thinking if there's a purple, I could put the purple in the middle there, like that, but Anna doesn't have a purple for it, and every other purple isn't quite um, right. And I don't want to make her die up. I don't know if you've heard, she's only got one working hand right now. She, like, broke her thumb or something. Um, and so I don't want to make her one-handed dye up all this extra yarn for me. So I'm just going to design something with it and I'm so excited because I love this. It's so 
pretty and squishy. And mm -hmm. I honestly, I was trying to climb on things to be able to get to it. And I'm so glad Anna knows me because halfway through her talking to another customer, I'm like, hey, can I just climb on the ladder? She's like, yeah, just don't fall. And I'm like, all right. So I'm clambering around her store, the poor thing. Um, but yeah, so that is my beautiful next pro well, one of my next projects. Um, and I love it so much. Speaking of next projects, this is the scarf I'm working on for one of my best friends. This is, <laughs> excuse me, this is called Her Wedding Bells. And this is the Her Scarf. It is a beautiful lace um, and it's kind of like a heart shape. So I don't know if you can see in here, they're like little hearts and it's so pretty. And this bit here is diamond and there's little bows in it as well. Um, and then it's coming back up to the lace. So this is so far about this big, which I really like. I want it to be nice and thick and cozy and warm for her to wrap herself up in. Her engagement was meant to be in August. So I was on a really good roll doing it, but then she pushed back the engagement because everything going on. And so I kind of slacked off a little bit, which is bad because her engagement is now in really soon. And I wanted to get this done. So I'll be taking this up to Broome with me. I'll tell you that in a sec. Um, and I'm going to keep working on it and I just love it. So this is one of my new patterns that is going to come out relatively soon. This is also yarn hand dyed by Anna. Um, I gave her a beautiful palette and she was like, yep, yeah, cool. I know exactly what I'm doing. And she did it and it was incredible. And I also asked her to join some of this. So this, this is the skein that she knit, um, that she dyed up. And this is something that I just saw on her, um, page and I was like, yeah, I need that. I need that to go together. So this is like a wine colored or marini colored, um, mohair lace I think and it is oh, it's beautiful it really gives loft and life to this so this is the her wedding bells and then this um diamond pattern this is what I'm going to reuse except without the little bit in the middle sorry my finger's broken so I would keep using my middle finger to point I'm not trying to be rude sorry um I want to put this um, bow, take this out and leave it only for her. So hers is a really delicate um, feminine one. And then for him, um, so I work with him and he is absolutely lovely. Um, and he's just such a good match for her. And this is what I've got for him. So this is like a navy blue, purpley, beautiful colorway. Again, Anna hand dyed it just for him. Um, and it's so gorgeous. And so I'm going to have to get my wriggle on and make sure I'm doing both of them because it's just beautiful. And that's what I'm, I'm also, I did start on the, sorry, she's out there. I started on the top of the bed, but I haven't done very far and it's only this much. And then I put all these stitch markers everywhere and I don't remember what they are. So I'm going to have to go back through my pattern and my notes, or I'm probably going to start again, which is, it's so new. I probably won't mind that. Um, but yeah, that's what's currently on my needles at the moment, along with the secret, secret project. What else is on my needles is this. So this is going to be a singlet and it is made using, uh, Knit Picks Lindy Chain which is a chainette plied yarn. So it's not like spun together, it's um, chained together. So it looks like lots of little interlocking loops and chains. Oh, you can't really see it. You can if I, I'm really, hello, focus. No, mm. sorry guys, I'm trying. No, so anyway, this is linen. It is not elastic at all and it's driving me insane. I've knit pretty consistently on this and this is as much as I've gotten. Um, although I did, to be honest, I did start it very, very big. But I want it to be nice and loose and I'm really loving the front of it, which is just this little um, pattern and then the back of it is just plain stockinette, so it's rolling at the moment. This is 100% linen and after listening to a couple of different podcasts like, um, who do I listen to? Um... The Knit More Girls, um, To Use, and Yarny Axe, and Two Knit the Chicks, and people like that. I have realized that you can wash, hand wa um, machine wash, and machine dry linen, and that it comes out softer and drapier every time. So I'm really excited to do that. This, I don't think I'll be finished until I get to Broom. 
um, until I'm in Broom, really. But I, it's definitely on my list of things. I'm going to Broom next week. So Broom, I will release a new video telling you all about Broom. Broom is at the top um, point of, well, not the point, but like towards the top of Western Australia. It is on the coast and it is hot and tropical. So I don't deal well with the hot, so luckily I've got my new <laughs> deodorant. Um, but we'll see how we go and I'm really looking forward to it. My sister lives up there and I haven't been up there yet, so I'm so excited. So this is hopefully going to get done by then, um, or at least it'll be a good effort um, and I'll see what I can do. I've also got another one which is called Paradise and I'll try and take some photos when I'm up there because I think that's a perfect place to take photos. I knit that one when I was in Bali, but I in Indonesia, but I didn't get a chance to finish it. So that's my current project as well that I'm also working on. And then I'm still working on the Cloud Drifts, which is the lace one, but it hasn't really moved because it's tiny, tiny needles and tiny, tiny amount. So I'm working on it, but it hasn't done much and there's not much point in bringing it out to show you the same amount of progress that I haven't made. I'm not grumpy. I'm just annoyed at myself for not doing it. The last thing to show you <clears throat> is my birthday present. So I have a whole selection of balloons in my room right now. <laughs> uh, my housemate, um, she tried to outdo what I did for her birthday and she won. Um, so next year it's on. And I walked into my room and there's a million balloons and it was just so beautiful and on my bed was this present and I opened it up and it turns out that Beth my housemate has been talking to Anna behind my back <laughs> and she got Anna to dye up some yarn just for me and it's so beautiful so I've obviously I've asked Anna to do it for other people she's never done it for me and it is so gorgeous so part of the Part of Beth and I, um, our friendship is that we were going to go to Italy. So I was actually meant to be in Italy right now. But obviously things have happened and we can't go. So instead of doing that, we've been here and then I knit her the Meet Me in Italy um, brioche shawl, wrap shawl um, that is currently being test knit. It's so exciting. And it is um, just beautiful. And so I said to her, like, we don't get to be in Italy now, but when we go together, you can wear this. So she bought me this and she said when we go to Italy I can knit myself something that I can wear in Italy and so it is oh, it's like strawberry shortcake cheesecake just beautiful it is so soft so subtle it's uh, on the mermaid's tail base of 70% merino 10% silk and 20% nylon in DK so 200 meters to 100 grams it is so soft it is so beautiful it's going to drape like a dream I'm definitely thinking like a sing like a like a short sleeve top or a crop top, something like a like crop de, not crop crop de top. Um something that is just gonna be beautiful. And Anna, apparently Beth sent all these um pa like palettes and then Anna chose out of there and it's just perfect. And then Anna named it Gelato Astrida. So it's named after me. I can't believe it. It is so beautiful. I'm just so in love and so honoured and so, also Anna has one working hand and she did this for me. <laughs> That's a lot. So, uh, I'm so in love with it. It is so beautiful. And it comes with a little yarn -y -ah. Yay. So I'm, yeah, I'm very much in love with this and I can't wait to go cast it on. I'm thinking lace. Uh, I'm thinking too special to cast on right now, but definitely thinking lace and thinking a cropped top. So thank you, Anna and Beth. Um, that is all I really have. Just looking around to see if there's anything I've missed. Um, that's all I really have to show you today. But just again, thank you so much for your all support and your love and your kindness to me. This is the first year of many, many years and I'm not stopping and I've got so many ideas. I think at last count I've got 24. So um, I'm hoping to bring at least 12 to you in the next few years um, and add to my list. So thank you so much for your kindness and your generosity in supporting me and loving me. If you do want to um, find me, I am most easily found at Instagram, which is at wattle and dot wool. Um, and if you would like to test knit anything for me, 
Um, I have in my Instagram bio, I've got a link that goes towards a form that you can fill out and I'll post it in here as well if you do want to test knit anything for me. I'm terrible at going on Ravelry, I tend to forget, um, so there's, don't, don't get upset when I don't reply too quickly there, um, but Instagram is probably the best way to get to me and yeah, thank you so much. If you do like this video, like what I do, feel free to like and subscribe, give me a comment, say hi. Um, and yeah, I am very loud and boisterous and silly and I'm not the quiet ASMR people, but you know what? This is my little pocket of the internet, my pocket of the world, and I am clearly being loved. So thank you so much again and I'll see you very soon. Bye.